everyone and welcome to the very first product post for 2013. We're going to switch up the format a little bit. I'm going to stand and we're going to have everything sitting here on this table. So um, let's just jump right into it and see what we've got for this week. So first up, we've got these two. These two are coin acceptors. Let me move this over here. So here we go. We've got one and two. Um, these are typically what you'd find in like you know, an arcade machine or something like that. You put in a coin, it verifies that you have a quarter, nickel, dime, penny, whatever, and it lets you play your game or do whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, we've got two different types. This one right here, which is actually a six coin acceptor, meaning it can accept six different types of coins. This one is very nice because it's really easy to program. Um, over on this side, you can see it has this little display down there, and it can actually tell you, you know, what coin you're programming, things like that. And this also has a serial output. So you can actually just take this, put in a coin, program it for that coin. And then when you put in that coin, when you're not in setup mode, it will just tell you, you know, hey, this is a 25 cent piece or this is a 10 cent piece. Um, it's pretty simple to program. It has um, these instructions here on the side of it. Basically, for both of these, the programming method is that you take a coin and you basically put it through the slot about 20 different times while in like the setup mode and then it'll eventually recognize that as a coin. And for this guy, you can do up to six different types of coins. And for this one, you can do two different types of coins. And then this one, you just set the value of it. And then that value will just be outputted over serial on the back of it. So it's pretty simple and pretty easy to use. And if it doesn't recognize the coin or if it's not a coin, it will just come through the little return slot. Now this one is a little bit different. Um, this one is only two types of coins. Um, the big difference between this one and the other one is this one does not do serial. It just does some digital pulses. So you could probably use like the Arduino pulse in command to just read the pulses off of this and determine which of the two coins has actually been inserted in this. So if you're only doing like quarters and nickels or quarters and dimes or something like that, you can get by with this one or just you know a single coin type. And if you want to use a lot of different coins, check out the six coin type. Um, if you want something that's really easy to use, check out the coin type because it does have the serial output, has all the instructions on the side, and it's a lot easier to set up. So next up, we've got a new version of our ever popular robotic claw. We talked about this um, probably several times here on the product post videos um, before. This is the new version, it has been completely revamped with um, a lot of the suggestions that we've given the manufacturer. Uh, let me just talk about some of the differences. Um, you see that this is kind of a little bit redone from the last one. Um, they're also using some um, spacers inside. So as before, you just had a screw and a nut that would clamp down on all these joints. So if you tightened it too much, it would be too stiff. If you loosened it, it would be too loose. Now there's actually a little um, spacer on the inside so when you tighten it down you know it's a lot tighter. The other nice thing about this is they have this new additional gear mechanism. The old one just had a little horn on the servo that connected directly to this gear and moved it like that. This new one adds this little setup. You've got this nice metal gear which actually mates inside there directly with that gear that goes inside of this channel like this. And then this is actually a slip clutch. We've got two plates that are basically mashed together like that. They have a magnet holding together and inside there's a spring. So what the benefit of that is, is that when you have your servo attached to this and this, you know, on the claw, if you overdrive your servo, this can actually spring. Likewise, if you're trying to grab something and you have resistance, instead of stripping your servo gears, this will actually compensate for that. So no more stripped servo gears. And if I crack this open, I'll give you an idea what's inside. It's a pretty simple little mechanism. There we go. So you can see there's two magnets that hold it together right there. And then there's this spring. So this spring just goes inside this channel like that. And when it moves, the spring will actuate. So generally speaking, when you're operating this, it's just going to be like a normal gear. But if you run into any resistance or the servo is going to start to strip, this will save your servo. So it's pretty cool. And this is actually 
the new version and you can see it if I pinch on these you can see it has that spring effect so it's probably going to lessen the overall gripping strength a little bit but you don't have to worry about your servos stripping every time you use it so it's pretty cool check out the new robotic claw so there you go it is a very short product post video today but if you check out the product post on the website we have a ton of new products um, so go ahead and check that out. We have a lot of new retail products and we've got a lot of other things. So definitely check out the rest of the post for the rest of the new products that we have. And we'll be back again next week with even more new products. See you then.